hello guys you are welcome to my youtube channel and today in this very tutorial i want to show you some of the options you have out there in testing your api testing your endpoint as a web developer and one of the common tool out there you can test your api with is um, postman which is one of the commonly and widely used tool out there where to test your api and it's um, for you to work with postman you need to download postman um, on your laptop and then you can go ahead and create your endpoint and test your endpoint with it so it supports all the http method if you come here by the left we we'll have get post put patch and delete and all of that so you can um, work with any of this http method and test the endpoint and one thing i discovered lately with postman is that you have to get connected to the internet before you can work with this too so in this very tutorial demo i want to show you one very easy one you can work with on your vs code and it's actually an extension on your VS Code that you can use to test your endpoint with. And it is also uh, a very good one. I make use of it um, more often. And that's because it comes with the, um, it's very, very lightweight since it's, it's an extension on VS Code. And even if I don't have internet connection, I want to test my API, then this tool is also a very good and a useful one I can work with. And this is not by any means a replacement to Postman uh, because Postman have some very future, some very uh, important future you wanna, uh, you, that that's some kind of more extensions or more, um, you know, good futures that uh, will really be of um, importance to you, more especially if you're working as a team with Postman, you can save your, uh, your you can document your, your API, not just testing, Postman gives you the future of you documenting your APIs and then you can share that amongst your team. Um, but um, this can be just like an alternative if you just want to test locally on your system all you need to do is go to your VS code and add this extension which I have right here I'll be showing you two extensions you can work with which you can use to test your endpoint um, basically so one of them is um, these two which I have here is called rest client and if you just search for rest client on your extension on your VS code and this is the tool I'm talking about so, okay so here we have one and once you have this installed on your VS Code extension, then you can use this red client to test your API, and I will show you how to quickly do that in this demo. Uh, then all you need to do is to create um, a file, right? Create a file. Uh, let me call it um, test API dot rest. Now this you have to give this file extension dot rest, and that's all you need to do, right? Within this file, all you need to do is to create your API, your endpoint, and then. You go ahead and put it in there you put your http method and test your api to give you the same result with what you have with postman right so uh, let me show you how to basically create one um here i have uh, a basic uh express server running all right express and mongodb server running and my this server is currently running on port 3000 and i have a route of uh, slash user that will get me list of user and then if i make a get request that will get me list of user if i make a post request that will give me the post of all user in the database so i want to use this rest client which we just created just now to test my api but before then let me start my server by running the command yarn dev okay yeah server is currently started uh you can see right here on my terminal and i'll go to the rest client right there and i'll uh define my http method so uh, i want to make a get request you just need to put in get and then you put in uh your endpoint um just like where you have it on postman so for me it's http uh, double colon localhost column 3000 which is where my post is running on slash users users in pro, uh, improver so that is my endpoint to get list of all users and now i want to use rest client to test that now once i hit on the once i hit on the get um okay i'm having a pro, uh, some server error warnings saying um this is not defined uh, i think i made a typo somewhere maybe uh let me validate my endpoint once again so um, this is http localhost 3000 and users uh, let me confirm if my end if my api is running and and uh, let me see my controllers once again it's users and 
Okay. Okay. Uh, for some weird reason, I don't know. I think that's probably have to be from my API. Let me start the server once again. Okay. Uh, my server is currently running, and let me be sure that that is the pause of which I'm working on. Local host three thousand, and let's go back to REST client, and and let me paste that. Okay, I think uh, let me copy it from here and let me show you right here how okay um, all right so I think I was uh, having some typos uh, initially let me do a control Z once again and see what we are missing wrong and Okay, yeah, uh, so this is the endpoint, and once I hit the get request, I get my result, right? So this is um, the REST client. Uh, this is REST client I'm using to test my API. Now I want to make a post request to this endpoint with this uh, with the name and email. Now, uh, you can have multiple endpoints, right, on your REST client within the same file. If you want to create another endpoint, all you need to do is uh, you use the, um, the double as symbol to separate your next endpoint, right? And after the Double R symbol, you can go ahead and create the next endpoint which you want to have. So let me just copy that and create uh, a post request. Let me put the HTTP method post, and then now uh, we're making a post request, right? Just like uh, we have it on Postman, you need to put in your body and you select content type, you, uh, you need to select raw and then application JSON, right? So this is very similar to how you have it also on the REST client. So we need to uh, put content type. Um, you can once if you, if you if you're working on VS Code and uh, you have some of this intelligence right on what you need to do content I let us go with that and let me close my bracket okay um, I'm missing test at gmail or let me use test at example dot com that's the email and I'll close my code okay and let me try to make this post request right now and so we'll see the result and once i send that um we'll newly created uh, a new user and once we do a get request once again we'll now have three records in our database so that is how you can use this tool to make your api test you can make uh, post put part and every of the http method same way you have it on ps so that is basically about it guys and thank you very much for sticking around and do subscribe to the channel and see you next time